Hey everyone, okay, so today we're gonna to be doing an anti-aging eyeshadow tutorial. Interestingly enough, this is actually how, and the way that I learned to apply eyeshadow, and it's a really great way of defining the eye, of giving more youth to the eye. So we're gonna be doing a full eyeshadow tutorial today. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, so I've very lightly filled in the brow. And you wanna make sure that the brow is you know, filled in. I'm gonna deal with concealer right at the end. So there's no primer on my eyelid. You don't need one if you want, don't want to. First thing I'm gonna do is just apply a very small amount of just a cream eyeshadow, just to the eyelid. And it's only a small amount because what this is gonna do is just intensify the lighter shadow that we put on the eyelid. You never want to apply cream eyeshadow to the brow bone because it's going to be too much shine there. And you know, it's no one's ever going to say, I want this area here to look really pronounced. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Coral Rose palette, blusher palette, and I'm going to use the highlight shade as my actual eyeshadow. So I'm going to apply this directly to the eyelid over that cream shadow because I want this area to be the lightest of everything. Now, generally speaking, <clears throat> what you want is if you have any eyelid space at all, if you have any visible eyelid space, apply a light shade to anything that is visible. So if you only have this area here visible, you just apply it there. If you can see the full eyelid, apply it there. And it, what it does is anything light stands out. So you're bringing the eye shut, the eyelid forward. Whatever's left on the brush, knock it off on the back of your hand and apply it to the outer third of the brow bone. Then take a clean finger and really work it into the skin because you want this area to have a bit of shimmer, but at the same time, not so much that it's really standing out. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're going to define the crease of the eye. Now this is a contoured look. And what that means is we're gonna define the crease of the eye here all the way in to the inner corner. We're gonna make sure that it joins up right here at the beginning of the nose. This will give a really, really effective way of, uh, just a really beautiful way of doing this. Now there's one thing I will say, this has a very youthful, sort of youth boosting quality to it. However, if you're 16, it is not a tutorial that I would recommend because it has, it can age you, it can make you look a lot older. Ironically, when you get over sort of 25, 26, it has a very youth boosting effect to it. But do not do this if you're 16, you will look like you're 20, not a good idea. So what I'm gonna do is start with the contour shade and I'm gonna use my satin bronze palette and I'm gonna use the contour shade to contour this entire perimeter of the eye, and we're gonna use a stencil. So I'm gonna place a tissue, glamorous, on the outside corner where the brow ends, line it up with the lower eyelid. Because for this tutorial, we're just gonna keep it on the upper lid only, we're not really gonna connect. So you wanna make sure that this is placed at an angle like that, where you barely see that lower eyelid. Now I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush. This brush is big enough that I can contour the entire eye with this in one go. I'm taking some of the contour shape from my palette. I'm gonna line this up, outside corner to lower eyelid. I'm gonna start in the crease of the eye and I'm bringing it all the way in. So it's touching here and this is gonna give us that contoured look. So bring it all the way in. And what you're trying to do here is bring it out so that it's just touching that highlight shade that you did on the brow bone. And then work it onto the outside corner of the eye as well. And just move it back and forward just to blend it. And I'm bringing it up here so it joins the eyebrow. And what you're looking for 
is just this shadowing in the crease area and it comes all the way in and joins. So with that done, the next thing that we're going to do is define the lash line. So I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and a push liner brush and I'm now going to just gently push black eyeshadow into the lash line. This is going to give the eyes really good definition and it isn't going to take away any lid space, which is so important. Just wiggle it into the lash line. So here's a quick tip. If you have a hooded eye and the skin is very mobile, take your eyeshadow brush, place it at the outside corner, and rather than going in a back and forward motion like we did here, take the brush on its side and lay the color down like this by patting it. Because by doing this, you're gonna move the skin just pat it into the areas where it's needed. It's a lot easier to do it that way. So there's one thing I kind of want to point out. Right here, there's some discoloration going on. It's because I haven't put any concealer there yet. That will disappear and you'll see it will lift the eye. But a lot of people have discoloration at this area and it can be bothersome and make it look like the eyeshadow is a bit wonky. So bear that in mind. So now we need to work on this outer corner. Now, the way that an eyeshadow tutorial works is you go light, medium, deep. That tends to be the three steps. We've got the light, we've got the medium, excuse me, which is off, often called the mid-tone shade. And then on this outside corner, we're gonna put the contour shade. It can be any color you want. It can be matte, it can be shimmery. The only thing is it needs to be deeper or brighter than the rest of the shadows because it's used is the fun color. Generally speaking, the mid-tone color here never really changes. It's always an extension of your skin tone. So I'm just gonna use my Pearl palette, which I love, and I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take this sort of grayish color here. And you wanna just take a relatively small amount to begin with, and we're just gonna contour that outside corner of the eye. We just want to darken it ever so slightly and line it up and then on this outside corner start on the lower eyelid and then go up just before the edge of the, the mid-tone colour. Don't go all the way up because then you've got nowhere to blend to. And you're just trying to get the bulk of the colour onto whatever lid is available and then a third of the way up. And then take a clean brush and just blend it into the highlight and into the crease. And then repeat those steps if you want more intensity. And what you're gonna be left with is this slightly darker lid. And all we wanna do now is with a slightly smaller brush, really subtly, we want to take that contour shade and just very lightly run it across the lid about a third of the way. So with the eye closed, just very lightly sweep it across the upper eyelid. Very gently. This is just so that you transition from the dark to the light. It's really subtle. You don't want it to be too strong. Otherwise, it becomes a very smoky eye. Now at this point, you've got one other option available to you, which I'm going to do, is you want to take a very bright celestial shade and apply it from the middle inwards really lightly and that's just going to add that extra sparkle to the eye. Okay so there's one other thing I want to mention before we move on to concealer and lashes and that is you notice that I use the highlighter shade from the blush palette and I use the contour shade from my bronzer palette. The reason I did that is so that there is continuity. So the highlight shade will now be on my lid and eventually it will be on my cheekbone. Therefore, they're in the same color family. There's harmony to the face. The contour shade was used in the crease of the eye. If I decide to contour the nose, the cheekbones, the jaw, it's all in the same family. You've got that continuity and that harmony going on in the face. So all I'm gonna do now is take a small amount of concealer and I'm just gonna apply this just to this outside corner, just to take away any shadowing that's there 
that I have and it's just going to lift this area that's all you're just taking away any irritants on the skin and I'm just going to bring it on this inner portion of the eye as well so you've got that highlight shade on the lid and then it meets this lighter portion of concealer and you can see with this look that my eyebrow ends here and the eyeshadow ends there as well so again you've got harmony it's all about harmony so next we want to move on to lashes because this is where we transform the look and you can have it very subtle or dramatic and adding lashes is a way of boosting youth because full beautiful lashes are very very youthful looking so when it comes to lashes i'm going to be using lashify and lashify is the most incredible system it is this system of using these lashes underneath the lash bed which means if you have a hooded eye you've lost no lid space they are they are the most perfect perfect system i've ever used in my life they're the most transformative of everything so I'm going to be using these. Now I'm going to use, I think, a couple of 10s in the beginning. And I think we'll just move on to 12s. I don't need anything ultra dramatic. One way which I'm going to speak about in another video is basically the least space you have from lid or lash line to brow, the shorter the lashes should be to give a more realistic look. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the Whisper Flexible Bond. And I'm going to apply this to the lash line and this helps the product adhere to the, the the actual lashes adhere underneath. I'm going to use the comb and I'm going to use the black one. It's a double ended one and what I'm going to do is just wiggle it at the root and just very lightly move it through the lashes. And you don't need a lot of this product but you want to make sure that it's coated because they have to have something to adhere to. So with your little tweezers that you get with the sets, what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna start from the outside corner, is you place it underneath on the outside corner. Let it go. Make sure it's in place and then you fuse it. I'm going to fuse it at the end. So I'm going to use a couple of the longer ones on the outside corner and then we'll go a bit shorter as we go in. So just place it as close as you can to it. Let go. And it just gives this incredible lift to the eye. I'm going to use one more and then we'll go a little bit shorter. And you see how easy they are to apply. <laughs> that you, there is like this, you've got sort of, I would say, a couple of goes to test it out. And once you've done that, you then know how to do it. And it's just so easy from there onwards. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna do one more that's slightly longer and I'm going to kind of stack it slightly and then I'll go in a bit short. And now the slightly smaller one. Right next to it. And I was going to use 12s. I actually use 14s here. I mean, you can see the power of lashes, right? That they open up the eye. They've taken away zero lid space. The most important thing, particularly if we have hooded eyes, we have so little hood, uh, hood space, we have so little lid space to begin with. And this is just taking care of all of that, which is why Lashify is the most incredible system. You can also, and I'm gonna do it on this outside one just for fun, you can also stack these lashes, which is incredible. So what, what happens from end, let me, I like to use the darker end because I just think it's just delicious. So what you're going to do is just stack another lash on the outside corner. So you just want to apply a little bit more of the bond on that outside edge. And then you're just going to attach another lash and it just gives that outer edge 
that little bit more drama. Place it right at the base, let go, press it into place, oh, and fuse it. And you just get that extra little drama. There's this rogue eyelash that I have. You all know the eyelash, right? You've, you've done your mascara, and then there's this one lash that points outwards, just a single lash, angry, straight down. Hate that lash. Now, depending on what formula you use, these lashes can last a day to take them off, or they can last 10 days. It all depends on the formula you use, because there's different formulas, and how long you fused. You really have to fuse. And this fusing creates this incredible pressure. You feel nothing and ensures longevity of your lashes. And this eye is now almost complete. It's contoured. We've shaped that crease. We've brought it all the way into this nose bone area here. It's feathered up into the brow. So if I was to contour my nose now, it's all gonna blend in, right? There's all this harmony. You've got this light right here on this lower lid that shines through. There's a small amount of highlight on the brow bone. And then there's that contour shade. And finishing it off with Lashify is giving you the most beautiful lashes. Now, obviously for me, I mean, this might be a look to pop down to get some milk. This to me is more of a nighttime look. But you've got all the elements, you've got the light, you've got the shadow, you've got the deep, and everything is blending into one here. And then with these lashes, you've got this incredible punch to the eye where people are gonna notice your eye. And what I love best is that I haven't even done anything to that lower eyelid, nothing. I've not connected it. This whole thing is about lifting up, pulling the eye up, giving a very youthful look to the eye and just making it look absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna go around ever so slightly with the concealer just to make sure bits and pieces are done. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of face color on and that will complete the look. And there you have it, that is the final look. And I think it's really, really, to me, this is what I would call a sophisticated look because it just looks so well put together. It's well thought out with this crease color that is an extension of your skin tone, meaning it's got this slight gray undertone to it. So it gives it this illusion of shadow and depth, starting from that outside corner running in, that highlight shade that pops through. You can see it on the inner corner with my eyes open, touch here, and then this grayish color on the outside corner, just pulling it together. And the finishing touch is these eyelashes that take away no lid space, which is the sheer genius of Lashify, is why no one thought of it before. I mean, she is an absolute genius. So you've got this dark, dark lash line, no lid space loss, which means any shimmer that you've got on your lid is visible, which draws your eye in. So when you're looking at someone, you're looking at this light in their face, and then this incredible black lash that just gives it that sexy, beautiful look. And this is how I learned to do eyeshadow. This was the technique which sculpts an eye because it takes three colors, technically four if you include lashes, to sculpt an eye. The highlight shade pops. You then got this contour shade, this mid-tone shade, which is this grayish color that just softly contours the look and then your outside contour color, and then the lash, the lashify. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but I use black for this because I really wanted this look to stand out. But lashify do natural, neutral colors. They do colors that look like eyeshadow, uh, look like eyelashes from ginger, right the way up to like an off black and anything in between. So you've got options if you don't want to go for that full kind of dark lash, you don't have to. But this to me is sophisticated, it's beautiful, and you get noticed. And that to me is what it's about, about feeling beautiful. And this really helps to just lift the eye at this outside corner. And there's all this harmony going on because that highlight color you would use on your cheekbone. 
that console color you could use to console the rest of your face with. And everything is in place and belongs to the same family. And when I mentioned with this tissue technique, you're literally using the tail of your brow as your guideline for where to bleed that eyeshadow off. That is lovely. So I hope you learned something. I hope you found it interesting. Long video for me. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. I just, I love this kind of look. I, I just, I love it. I love that sophistication of this kind of look. And I just love the way that that contour color just comes right in here and touches that bridge of the nose, kind of framing everything else that may come. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. All the information in the description bar. Lashify, you know, I cannot imagine ever putting a strip lash on again. I just it would never happen, never. Just love the way these look. Okay, thanks so much, I appreciate your time, and I'll see you all soon, bye-bye.